28 minutes. All right, FT. You're, you're, you're lucky I like you, bro. Hi, <laughs> guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Welcome to Frank Friday, which is uh, not featuring Frank technically, but it is a Frank song. Uh, Trouble Every Day, and it is Zappa plays Zappa. Um, I believe it's from like the 2008 live DVD. This is side two, I believe. That's all I got for you. Um, uh, we've done a couple dweezil stuff on here zappa plays zappa and uh he is definitely in his own right an amazing musician and i really appreciate his work um i guess i'm gonna have to see if i appreciate his work enough to enjoy a 28 minute version of trouble every day which i do absolutely love that song though so let's do it thank you to our patron fd for another probably great pick so let's do it go oh, god relax all right y'all don't subscribe please help a brother out click that icon right below my face we do this every friday 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It usually only t takes up one slot, but it's taking up two slots this week because it's a long one, and then probably have to do this other other one then tomorrow. It's not Zappa either, but it's Zappa adjacent, I guess. All right. Zappa plays Zappa. Trouble every day. 2008, disc two. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, my. What is that? Hello. What the heck is that? Yep. 
low. Oh, yep. Yes. Wow. He sustained that note for like five seconds, bro. That's great. Oh, that's in that base, bro. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just trying to find this thing. That was incredible. <laughs> is that Fazio? Just like years later? What, so Dweezil and Steve are gonna go? What? That's awesome. Vi is incredible, bro. This huge jumper thing is such a sick, it's so good, dude. You still got it, bro. Sheila's getting down in the back too. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs>
Everyone's just happy as hell. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Oh, for the love of God. Whoa. Oh my goodness, crazy. It's like a fight back and forth. Frank would be so proud. Then he'd ask, where are all the white women at? Entered the stratosphere, my friends. Whoa! Go ahead, Weasel. I didn't see the other guy. So the modern world is missing, is it? Improv. We're all so predictable. Let's go. 
<laughs> yes, dude. That place is going nuts right now, I know. That's incredible. All right, Bazio. Look at that fucking kit, dude. That shit's unnecessary. <laughs> Just test these out. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Oh, that snare. Ta Fucking octopus, bro. Oh. He switches up so just like seamlessly, bro. Come so far since Punky's Whips, man. Ooh. That shit's tight. Let's follow the hi hat. Dude, ugh. He's like lightly just grazing the tops of them. That's crazy. He's like cutting them. Ugh. I love his motion, bro. It's so interesting. Not like that, you fucking weirdo. Uh. <laughs> Staccato. Put a little English on it. Insane, dude. It seems so like spontaneous, but I don't know. It's so precise at the same time. Truly one of the best of his era. Mmm. Do 
Weasel's out back smoking a joint. I, that's what I'd be doing. Oh shit, I gotta get back. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Kick his ass. <laughs> you hear that? Push your back into it. Uh oh, standing up. Yeah, yep. Loves it. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna throw my fucking headphones off, fuck. Well. Trouble every day. Uh. Terry is so fucking fast, dude. Just percussion insanity. Back in. Yes. Oh no. Don't you do it, motherfucker. Hold on, I gotta drag him back over here. I got too excited. That's all we have to offer you this evening. Thank you so much for coming to the concert. <laughs> well, Seattle, you're a really great audience. Thank you so much. I'm sure the band would like to meet you, and perhaps you the same, so let me 
introduce you to the band right now. On percussion, he is really holding. On the drums, the Vaultmeister himself, Joe Travers. Joe is killing it, bro. Hey, man, Terry. On electric guitar, the shocker, Jamie Kime. Jamie! On bass and wristband, Pete Griffin. Petey! Saxophone and vocals. She is Sheila Gonzalez. Wielding the trumpet and the keyboard sometimes <laughs> at the same time. Wielding. He is Aaron Arts. I'm so happy he's keeping everything alive. The crazy drum kid. <laughs> Terry Bozio. Bozio. Wait, is that how you actually say it? I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Over here on the electric guitar. Frank always called him his little Italian virtuoso. Yeah, he did. And it's true, goddammit. Steve Vibe <laughs> On lead vocals and saxophone He is Napoleon Murphy Brock Killed it in the beginning Amen <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen On behalf of Steve Vai Jerry Bozio The ZPC band Frank loved this place, and so does he. Mr. Dweezil Zappa! Hell yeah, bro. Thank you. I'm sorry that the thing got fucked up. I'm gonna fix it once this is over. Goodbye for now. Am I getting emotional, bro? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, we will see you tomorrow! Uh. <laughs> Just like Fillmore. Fuck yes, dude. FD, that was worth it, my friend. <laughs> All right, let me fix this damn camera. All right, I fixed it. Fucking camera. That was absolutely uh, stellar. <laughs> In every way possible, man. Um, it was so weird at the end there. I almost had a, a little bit of an emotional moment just because I really did feel Frank on that stage with them for a second there. Just for a second, like for a fleeting glimpse, I, I just saw him up there. It was so strange. I think it's when I was just, uh, it was when Dweezil was getting, you know, introduced basically at the end there. Uh, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I just saw Frank for a second there and uh, it made my soul happy because um, his music lives on and, desert, and it absolutely deserves to because he's basically our, one of the best composers of, you know, the 20th century. I mean, like, let's be honest here. Um, he's prolific in every way possible with his songwriting, everything. It's just, even all the way down to his guitar playing. He was absolutely prolific. That word is designed for Frank Zappa. Um, I'm glad that it lives on in his son and his fellow, um, well, you know, ex-bandmates and people that played with them and stuff like that. Uh, I'm glad that they could come together 
and put that show on for all the fans that had uh, probably been there through it all and through everything. Um, I I can't imagine losing him. You know, it's like it's like losing Lennon. You know, I don't know. I know that he died. You know, from what he died from. I don't know if there was like a period of time where people knew it was going to happen. Was it like a David Bowie thing? Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, of course it's, it's one of the, it's a huge loss just to everything in general. And, you know, I find him all these years later and, uh, he's been one hell of a find because while yes, like, you know, in those kind of bands, like they helped me explore, like, uh, I'd say my heart and stuff like that. Zappa really helps me ex- like explore my mind. Um, I really have to kind of think for you know myself and use reasoning and critical thinking and you know logic and just to kind of you know to try and you know peer through his madness to try and figure out what he's getting at. You know, it's not easy all the time, but that's the whole point of it is he makes you work for it. You know, it shouldn't nothing should come easy. Anything that's actually worth it will not come easy. And that's his music is totally worth it. So you know that there's going to be some points where you're going to be like, wait, I have to hear that again. I right, listen to it again and again. And then you're like, all right, now I get it. You know, like he's that good that he's got layers within layers. You know, it. I don't know, man. But uh, like I said, I'm happy to see Polly and Brock Murphy up there uh, killing it in the beginning with the trouble everyday stuff. Um, that was a great rendition of it. And then they just, you know, went into, you know, Steve I and, and then um, Dweezil came back out, I guess. And. That was amazing. Them just going back and forth, the harmonics between the two, it's just absolutely fantastic. The, har- the harmony they were getting with the guitars, it sounded like the guitars were freaking singing. Like, it really did. And uh, you had, you know, Sheila back there doing the percussion, the sax, everything, the keyboards. Oh, no, the keyboards, not percussion, sorry. And then, of course, Terry. And then I forgot what he said the other guy's name was already. You guys know I'm terrible with names, so my apologies. But the other drummer... Uh, was it Todd? <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong name. I can't remember, but he was uh, absolutely great too. But Bazio, Bazio still got it, man. He takes the cake. He's, uh, he's so fast, man. I mean, he just, like I said, it seems so spontaneous where he's going, but it's so precise and so almost predetermined in a way that it, I don't even know what, what to, I, I can't make sense of it at some points because it's just so complex, but at the same time, like, it feels like he's just coming up with it on the spot and he probably is, but at the same time, he's probably not like it's, I don't know, man, it's crazy just to see that like advanced level of drumming. Uh, and just, I wouldn't even just call that drumming. That's just percussion work in general, man. He's like, he's a true percussionist, you know? And it look at, look, look at that fucking kit. That thing is, <laughs> it's thing is unnecessary. That's the word I use. Cause I'm like a small kit kind of guy. So like, I see shit like that and I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what do you need all this for, bro? But then he proved to me why he needed all of it. And it sounded great, man. He used every last little piece of that fucking kit. And it, it was it was awesome. Um, like a Dweezil, he's just very, like I said, he's very talented. Putting him on stage with Steve Vai was a great idea because them just playing off each other is just gold. It, it's absolute gold. Um, that's some of the best Zappa, Zappa adjacent stuff I've seen. And Frank wasn't even there, you know? Uh, that, that was just his boys and his boy, you know? And... Uh, it, Sheila as well. Um, like I said, I felt like he was on that stage for a second there. I uh, just, you know, I know he, wherever he is, he was uh, shining down, just looking very happy with his son. Um, I would be proud of my kid if I was watching them play my music that fucking well, you know, and I was Frank Zappa. I'd be like, all right, kid, you got it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I definitely would say that, you know, the interplay between um, ba- or Basio and the other drummer, the interplay between um, Vi and Dweezil, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I like Sheila's, you know, vocal additions and Napoleon's stuff in the beginning as well. But, you know, that was like the first six minutes and then the rest of it was just like a fucking boom, like a bomb went off. You know what I mean? But I love that. Thank you so much, FD. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. Um because I definitely did. Uh, I know that I think that's obviously the end of the show because they were signing off. But I don't remember what the other song one uh, song was that we did from this show. I'm trying to rack my brain to remember what it was. I bet I could look. Uh, just do it, Lee. Just do it. All right. Let's see. If I put in because like I have the app, so I can look all my stuff. My stuff. My stuff up. I've been around my kids too much. I talk like a toddler. All right, Dweezil. It was, da, 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 da. oh yeah, the torture never stops. So, yep, that's what it was. And we did both of that. Uh, we did the original version and that version. And 
from this show. It was fantastic. Um, but this is a great ending to this uh, show. And if there's any other tracks you guys think I'd like from it or, you know, any other Zappa play Zappa, any Zappa stuff you think we should get into, leave it down below, man. Um, if I ever have any free time, like free slots for it, I will definitely come back to your suggestion and doing it. Um, Cause I, like I said, I, I enjoy these Frank Fridays a little too much. I'm not going to lie. I, I was really into that, <laughs> that first half, man. That was a great rendition of trouble every day, man. That was, that was sick. That was really, really good. And uh, thank you again, FD. You rock, man. Thank you for a wonderful pick. And um, I will see y'all next time. If you are uh, here only for the Frank videos, I will see you next Friday. And if you're here uh, for all of them, I'll see you in the next one. Patreon, right there. Halo. There's a link in the description. Join the $15 tier up for this month only. This is the last month to do it. The month of July will be the last month. And then we're moving on to a different tier for different amounts of requests. I'll have it worked out. And I will have it posted, obviously, like a couple weeks beforehand to let everybody prepare. Um, there's also a patrons only Discord if you want to come join the club, come hang out, come chat. We'd love to have you. Uh, any member or you know any level of the Patreon, you get access to that. And uh, there's also a PayPal and a Cash App in the description if you want to send a request in that way. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Bye bye. <laughs>